Hi, it's Mark from TrainingSpark. In this video, we're going to show you how you can embed Zoom calls into your LearnDash courses. And this is perfect for anyone who delivers blended learning, whereby there's some Zoom or live delivery combined with the great features that LearnDash brings in terms of online courses. So what we're going to do first is log in to our LearnDash platform, and I'm logged in here as an administrator. And we're going to head to the dashboard and install a plugin to help us integrate with um, Zoom. So firstly, I'm going to head to plugins and then add new. And what we do on this page is in the top right hand corner here, search for Zoom. And the most popular plugin in this area is this one called Video Conferencing with Zoom. It's got, at the time of recording, 30,000 plus active, active installations, and it's relatively well kept up to date. You know, it was updated four weeks ago, and the reviews are quite good. So what we're going to do is just click on this Install Now button to get that installed. And then we activate it. And once it's activated, we will now have this Zoom events option in the left hand menu. So the first thing we need to do is connect this to Zoom. And I'm going to talk you through this, but there is a setup guide here that you can click on that has these steps that I'm going to talk through. But I'll show you these uh, on screen while I add them. So the first thing the instructions will tell you to do is go to a place called marketplace.zoom.us and you'll be able to log in here using your Zoom account and if you don't already have a Zoom account you can create one for free. And this is the place where you can create your own apps and build apps and connect to apps um, and what you need to do is create an app to integrate Zoom with your platform. And it's not as complicated as it sounds, you know, there's no code involved here or anything. Uh, this is just a way that Zoom can control um, who is integrating with their platform. So the first thing we do is head to this develop option here and then go to build app. And if you've seen the previous video uh, that was recorded earlier in the year, it told you to connect using this JWT method. But this type of method is going to be deprecated or made unavailable by Zoom in 2023. So don't use that if any uh, anyone tells you to do that. So JWT is an old way of doing things. So uh, yeah, ignore that one. What you do want to do is go to this new method, which is called server to server OAuth, and then click create. And we give the app a name. So I'm just going to call this Learn Dash for now. You can call this anything you like. And we click create. And what this will do is generate you some app credentials. So one thing we need to do first is give ourselves uh, a company name and uh, some contact information. So I'll just put uh, some details in here. Uh, and this is just in case they need to uh, make any contact in terms of updates to, to services and things like that. And what we then need to do is head to this scope section here and um, I'll just click continue here um, and enable some scopes and we choose this add scopes here and what we need to do is select all of the ones in meeting as well as let's press done here um, and then we'll add all the ones in webinar and recording and user report as well. So go down and choose report and we can choose those. 
and then press done. And this is all mentioned in the, the documentation in this setup guide, so uh, you don't need to remember exactly, but it's, it's basically those uh, five items there. It says meeting, webinar, recording, user, and report. And this is just controlling what data can be passed back and forth between your system and Zoom. So we can leave any of these other ones deactivated according to the documentation and just have those. And then we click continue and it says your app is ready for activation and then we can activate our app. And now it says the app is activated on the account. So we can head back to our app credentials here. And what we have is some credentials here that we can put into our um, LearnDash platform here. So what we want is the OAuth account ID. We'll just copy that and then paste that in. We've got this client ID. I'll just copy that again and paste that in. And we copy this secret and paste that in. So we've got three items there. And if we click save, what we'll find is that we've got these credentials successfully saved. Let's cross this off. And we've got some other options now available to us. So it you know, knows that it's now connected. But there are some other bits that we do need to add. It says here, uh, required for join via browser to work. So we'll add these as well. So what we head, need to do is head to develop here and then go back to build app. And then the one we want to choose here this is this one called meeting SDK. So we just choose uh, view here. And we can give this an app name again and I'll just put learn dash and we'll say, um, let's put in a few details about these. So it's similar information to what we put into the last one. And these are the bits we can leave, they're optional ones, but if you do have privacy policies in terms of use, you can add these as well. And we can choose different ones to download to, to create our own apps, but we can leave that. And then we get here on our app credentials, the option to um, copy a SDK key and an SDK secret, which you'll see we can put into here. So I'm just going to copy that and then paste that in, and then copy this, and paste this in, and then click Save. And now it recognizes that we've connected to Zoom. So if we head to API settings again, we have a few features here. Um, I'm not going to go into details about all of these, but one thing it is worth looking at here at the bottom is this check API connection. And if we press that, it will just check to make sure that we are connected. It says API connection is good, please refresh. So that means that we've connected successfully between our LearnDash platform and Zoom. So we can cross off this Zoom app marketplace now because we've done everything we need there. So now that we've connected to Zoom, We'll just have a quick look at some of the other features that we get in the Zoom plugin. So one of these is the ability to manage your Zoom meetings and webinar, webinars via your WordPress and LearnDash platform. So you could continue to go into Zoom to create these, but now we're connected, what you can do is go to, say, live meetings here, and in the top right, drop down and select the user that this relates to and what you'll find is that you can see all of the meetings you have set up here and manage them from within this uh, plugin so if i choose one of these i can choose when it is and all the settings here and uh, just manage them all from one place so you, you're cutting out having to go into um cross this off because it keeps popping up and um, going to um, a, another place to um, to manage all of this so it's, it's all contained within one place so that's one great feature of it the other is that it makes it really easy to embed these into your learn dash courses 
So if I just go to a course at random here, I'll choose healthy eating for healthy life and then this ketogenic diet for weight loss here. And depending on what editor you use, things might appear slightly different here but uh, I'm using Gutenberg uh, and what I'm going to do is just click this plus icon here to add a block and I'm going to search for zoom and there are a few different ones um, that you can insert that this plugin brings in I'm just going to um, show you a few here so the first is just to be able to simply join a meeting by the browser so uh, you can choose this one and leave some of these fields as they are but what you can do is choose whether it's a meeting or a webinar, choose who the host is, and then select a meeting, and then click save. And then as simple as that, you've got a nice quick way to embed that meeting into your LearnDash lesson. And if I go now to view lesson, we'll see how that appears. So we've got our standard LearnDash course with the lesson in it, and the option to just join directly from the browser. And you can see here that we've got, it's trying to connect to my video here and, and uh, microphone, so I could join directly from here without having to open anything else up. So that's one way you can get your uh, Zoom content embedded into your courses. Another useful one, if I just get rid of uh, that one is we'll just click plus here and then choose zoom again we've got this direct meeting or webinar option here so if you wanted to link to one rather than them opening it in the browser you can choose it again so choose the host choose the webinar and then click save and we'll update that and what we'll see in this instance is that it just has links to the meeting rather than embedding it so that people can either join via the Zoom app or join via the browser. And depending on what they do here, it will open in a slightly different way, but they can click to access it. And it just gives a bit of information about when it's going to start and um, you know, different information here about the, the meeting. So that's two ways you can embed the, the Zoom calls into your LearnDash lessons. I'll just remove that again and just show you a couple of things here that you can do as well. So we'll click the plus icon again and search for Zoom. If you have Zoom recordings from your uh, previous webinars and meetings, you can list them here. And I don't actually think I've got any, but I'm going to add add some here and what this does is inserts into the page a way that you can have a filterable list of all of the recordings so people can go back and um, download recordings from your meetings so let's remove that one again and the last one we can look at here is um, a way to list uh, the zoom meetings uh, and we've got that option here so um, I'll just choose that and if you've got some upcoming meetings here um, you can list them and uh, show them within the Learn Dash page or Learn Dash lesson as well. I don't actually have any upcoming lessons here I think all of mine were in the past but if you did have some upcoming they would appear here. So we hope you found that useful and that's the full process of connecting your LearnDash platform to Zoom and some options for how you can manage your Zoom meetings and embed them into your LearnDash courses. And if you like this video, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the TrainSpark YouTube channel.